if this is your first time here, my name is Tess, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some upcoming projects. I'm going to give you an update on my whips, and then I have a question that I need Floss Tube to answer, so please stay tuned because I could really use your help. Um, this might be a long video. I'm going to try not to make it long, but I am a talker, as you know, so I understand if you fast forward a little bit, <laughs> but not on this one, not on this, this first part. Um, okay, so I was online looking for something. I don't even remember now because um, whatever it was I was looking for, I came across this pattern and I loved it. You know me, I love the crowns, I love the Cinderella thing, I love the, the queen thing. Um, I like, I love all that. Um, I don't buy into the whole Cinderella waiting for the man to save her thing. But, you know, it's just all fantasy for fun anyway, right? I don't live by Cinderella motto, mantra, or whatever. So, anyway, I just thought she was absolutely gorgeous. Um, her normal price was $8.32, and I got it for $6.24, so I purchased it. I'm like, you know, for $6, bucks, i am going to have it. Um, this pattern is from Zanna, or if she calls it Zanna, I'm, I'm hopefully I, I don't, I hope I didn't. Oh, I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to call it Zianna, unless I'm told differently. Zianna Cross Stitch on Etsy. Um, the name of this pattern is Golden Yellow Princess and Fantasy Castle. Um, so, um, yeah, I fell in love with her. Um, I'll tell you more about her in a minute, but, um, yeah, I purchased it, and I was super excited that I did. And so, you know, I was just going to show it as, I don't have plans right now, but here it is but there's more to this story. So as I'm watching YouTube videos, I came across, um, not came across, I always watch Stephanie and Allison's cross stitch, cross stitch on the globe, cross stitch the globe channel. And um, in there, they were talking about um, leap year. Now, let me give you a little leap year story real quick. I was a little jealous because I didn't start any cross stitch any cross stitching or any even bought anything until March. So by the time I started buying stuff and started watching videos and came across that people were doing that, I wanted to start, but it was already either March or April or May or whatever, whenever I first time I heard it. So some time had already passed and I thought, mm, maybe next time. But I love that kind of stuff. I'm for here's an example for my daughter, my older daughter and I, we wrote a little kind of like a letter to each other kind of a time capsule or what we hope to be in four years from now. So it's a, it's a leap year letter to each other and sealed it and sent it to each other. Now she sent me hers, I haven't sent her mine. And I will, Holly, if you're watching this, I will get it sent to you. And she put ma um, packing tape in every possible place on that. So I can't open it. <laughs> I would have, she's smart because I probably would have, but we will open it on leap year of 20, 28 and we're gonna it's a conversation piece for us right so it's just a, a little something that we're doing so I really wanted to do this too but I let it go and moved on and then I watched that video and I went oh I really love to do this um, I thought, you know what I can still start something it is leap year so I can still start something and might be a little bit late but you know it's still leap year so I decided I'm going to I'm gonna make my own rules and so I went to my patterns and I found three patterns that had, well, let me say this. When I think of leap year, I think of Irish. I know it's not necessarily to do with Irish, but Irish, Ireland has a long, well, I think of Irish because of the movie Leap Year. And um, I guess Ireland has a long history of, um, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? A tradition on leap year, which is, if you haven't seen the movie or don't know the tradition, on leap year is a day that women can ask men to marry them. It's, it's traditional. And I guess they do it in groves. So, and I love that. I love that women for, you know, longer than I've been alive have been able to do that. I think that's amazing. So I always think of Ireland when I think of leap year. So I wanted to find a chart that had red hair. So I picked out three of my charts, my mirabilias, because you know, they just did mirabilia parade and I have a lot of them. I picked out, I had three that had red hair. So I took out, I took those out. I looked at the, the color of the hair and the floss that they're putting in there. 
and most of them were just brown with some kind of reddish brown highlights in there. And I went, that's not what I want. Then I remember I bought this. So I looked at this and her hair looks very red. So I went, oh, she's the one I want for my leap year project. So I was so happy to have her. And then I decided to look at the details. She's not a small piece. She is 360,000 stitches. I know. I don't know how everyone else feels. I'm new to this, but that took my breath away for a moment. <laughs> um, so she is 360,000 and she's a full coverage, which is nice. Um, and, but she's gorgeous. I don't regret it. I want to start her. So she is my leap year project. I'm hoping to start it October 29th. I, the fabric was on its way and then it said it was going to be late. So it's going to arrive right around that time. So I don't know if I can actually start it that day or, or, you know, maybe early in the week, but this is my leap year project. Now I will not get her finished in four years, highly unlikely, but my goal is the leap year afterwards. So in 2032. Now, I'm not putting any deadlines on any of my projects because I'm here to enjoy the process and it's a hobby, but that is my, my goal. So I know, is it crazy? Well, I went online to find out some tips and you know, some tips on a large projects. Well, apparently I thought this was, I couldn't find anything on this or anyone doing it. So like, did I just buy, Am I the first one to ever buy this big of a, a project? Because I couldn't find anything, but then I did. There is a world map and I've seen a couple world maps. In fact, um, Zianna has a world map on hers. It's like 170 or 180,000 stitches. And another one says theirs was 1.8 million stitches. So I'm, okay, I almost fainted. So, okay, it may put this one a little more perspective. Okay, I think this is more doable. <laughs> So I'm super excited. I'm going to start this as soon as the fabric comes in. I've already got the extra large scroll rods to put in my frame so I can fit the pattern. I'm just, I've got her almost completely floss kitted up. And this is something else, and I hope I get this right, but I can't remember. I read it or I was on a YouTube channel, but she doesn't add specialty threads. She doesn't add, you know, um, treasures or beads. Her grandness is the size. Is the is the pattern and the size and I, I can see why she would do that it is amazing it's gonna be a, a wow piece um, I do see all these little like little teal color that would be really pretty I'm, I'm thinking that might look really pretty with beads there or treasures but then again it is so big it might be better looking just as a tapestry so when I get to that point I will decide if I want to put beads there or not but right now She's just gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. So I am calling this um, finish before I'm finished. I mean, <laughs> the joke is, can I even do this before I'm pushing up daisies? You know, if you know what that means, you know, kick the bucket, whatever, however you want to word it. Um, so that is what I'm calling it. And I want to find someone who will stitch along with me. Now, this isn't the only pattern. Let me let me talk about that for a minute. Um, she has the she has them in all different colors. She has them in red and green and um, whatever the colors. There's red and green and champagne and blue and she has a a really pretty autumn one where she's you see the back of her hair long. She's going through a field of flowers and it's all autumn colors and leaves and it has a little chateau in the back. And so it's not like she just took this pattern and changed the color. No, all the castles are a little bit different. All the dresses are a little bit different. And she even has one that I have in my, um, I have in my cart. I just can't justify buying it because I just don't see me ever doing another big one like this. But I love this one. It's an African American in this beautiful white dress. Now, let me show you the other side. This is how it prints up. My printer always prints up darker, but see all the pinks and there's lavender clouds in the background. I lightened it up and I think I went a little too light so a lot of the pink is gone. But So it's not exact like this. There's a lot of coloring in the sky that's really pretty. But I think it showcased this a little bit better. Um, she's gorgeous. Look at her crown. Oh my gosh. I want her, but 
Am I ever gonna do it? I don't think I am. I have so many big pieces. Um, and to buy this was a big deal for me because I already have a lot of mirror billies I wanna do. Um, so I don't know, it's in there. Again, I tell myself it's $6 right now. It ends today, I think, but it's only $8. Have it for your project in case in the future, but I just don't see me being able to stitch that many years. So it's in my cart. It's, it's a, I'm you know thinking about it, but I don't know yet. So let me tell you about the pattern real quick. This is the longest one I'm gonna talk about, but because there's still more to talk about. Um, let's take this out of the way. I love that she included this. There's 108 pages. So it really break, helps break it down some. And then I can't show you the charting, but I love that she, let me, let me kind of thumb here, get it bigger. Oops. Okay. Yeah, they're all about the same, right? So I love how she, the, it's large. So my workable copy, I don't have to enlarge it, get it blurry. It's large and very easy to read. So she did an excellent job on this. I have a lot of printables and I bought a lot of patterns. So I'm kind of an expert at that, but she did a really good job on her chart. So she, you're getting a good quality chart here. And okay, so let me just get going. Let me finish this. So I Definitely want to do this. No deadlines, no rules. I I can't do that. I, it's too big. I have to make her a priority. I do have a plan, which I'm going to share with you guys later. So on Instagram, I'm calling this finished before I'm finished. If you want to go there and if you want to, um, you know, maybe stitch along with me. Um, she is Zana Cross Stitch. She's on YouTube, Instagram, and Etsy. When you go there, she has more than just princesses. She's got um, mandalas. She's got piggies and she's got you know cupcakes she's got a lot of fantasy pictures she's got pirates she's got a whole she has 800 and some dollar 800 some dollar, 800 and some patterns listed so if you want to stitch along you can pick any of them and i reached out to her today and she answered right away i said i would like to buy i would like to give away one of the patterns so if you want to stitch along with me let me know and if you're the only one, then then we're good to go. If not, I'll pick some, but pick one of you. We'll do a little drawing, and I will buy the pattern for you, and she will get it. She will make sure you get it. Um, and she wants to follow us on YouTube if you have a YouTube channel because she wants to see our progress. So, if you're interested to do a stitch along with me, um, please just let me know below. Let's see what can we do. Put a put a crown. Put a crown in the leave a message and just put a crown in there in the message and then i know i'll enter you into the the pattern giveaway and let's let's just do this together again i'm not doing i have i have a goal in my mind but there is no it's just to know that someone else is doing this massive project for, with me um if I, i'm doing it on 18 counts so it's going to be 33.4 inches square so it's it's a bigger piece and i would just love to know that someone's doing it with me um I'm not putting pressure on myself. There's no real rules. Um, you can pick whatever you want. So anyway, there you go. If you're interested in stitching along with me, put a crown. Let me know that you'd like to stitch along with me. And um, and I'll pick someone or I'm just hoping I get one person <laughs> that will do it. And um, yeah, and, I, and, the, and the pattern's on me. I've already got it set up with the, the designer. So... So there, she's on YouTube, Instagram, and Etsy. On Instagram, on my Instagram account, you can see some of the pictures I'm putting on either on my account. I'm, I've got a hashtag started called Finish Before and Finished. And is that everything on this one? I thought I had something else. Let's see, other color, I got my working copy. Um, yeah. If you are, anyone can do it. I mean, doesn't you have to already be on floss tube? If I have a lot of budgeters that watch this. Hey, if you're a floss tuber, a floss tuber wannabe, or floss tube curious, it's just X's. You can do it. The difference between this and you know all the other ones is the size. You're gonna have a big size. You have to have patience. It's gonna take time. So, um, do I call it newbie friendly? Probably no, because of the size. Um, and if you've never done it, but if you want to work on something small and see if you like it first, that's fine too. 
um, do that and you can always come back. But yeah, I'm just looking for someone to do it with me. I think I need to wrap this up. I've probably got 30 minutes on just this one story. So I apologize. You know me, I'm a talker. Um, but anyway, Zianna, she's just been so gracious. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, that's exciting. That is exciting that, that you might be watching this. Okay, on her side, I also found this one. This is not something I am going to stitch right away, but I love the whole Queen Elizabeth thing. I love about this pattern is it's this black behind is all solid, and most of this is solid. There's big solid patches, so this is going to be more of an easier stitch when I get to it. Um, I have no plans for it, but, you know, it fits into the whole Queen thing I like. And it's still available. And I spent $6.18. I don't know if that is the the regular price or if I got a sell price. I can't remember. And this one is a 200 by 280. So, um, yeah. And again, her patterns. You know, look at this. Okay, I cut too much. I cut it out because I cut too. I showed too much of the, the, the chart. She, um, a lot of solid colors. But see, it's, again, big pieces. So you can see the. The chart really easily she did a really well job again this is on Zianna's the one I just told you about I bought this on her site and I don't have any plans to stitch her right away but she's definitely in my in my stash because I will want to stitch her at some point okay back to my first and only stitch along but we're still doing it I'm doing royal oh, let me take this over here my little notes. I'm gonna do. I'm doing Royal, Royal Holiday. She's on Instagram. I do have one person that wants to stitch with me. Again, she's not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. It's just that camaraderie more than any kind of deadline. Um, and this will be. My, I'm gonna start on Christmas Day. It's a 2025 stitching project. Probably 26 and 27 for all I know. Um, again, you're probably thinking, how am I gonna do all this? Well, I do have a plan, and I'll share that with you later. So here's a picture of her she's 58,752 but she really isn't because a lot of this background um, is just fabric so she's going to be a lot less than that I didn't do the math but she's all kitted up she's ready to go for Christmas everything's ready I've got um, the fabric is on its way and my problem was I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to do her because I couldn't find the fabric but I did find something I found this off-white it's kind of a it looks gray on here for my printer, but it does say it's gold damask. So I'm gonna guess it's more of a gold turn, not the gray tone. I'm more of an ivory and gold. And I think that's gonna look really good with this. And I bought this on Etsy at dovestitch.com. Everyone I'm mentioning, every everything I've mentioned will be in the description below. So you don't need to sit and try and write it down. You can just go there and look and it should be written down there for you. Um, but yeah, it's a, um, if it's got the slight, you know, it looks faded, a little bit darker in some spots, a gold damask, I think, I just think that would work really well with her. I wanted to have a little something in the background, but I don't want to take away from her. She's just beautiful on her own. So I'm starting this, and if you're interested, um, yeah, it's going to be Royal Holiday. She's the Christmas Queen from Mirabilia, and um, she does have beads, and she does have Krynik, and she does have um, some Whisper which is the white fuzzy stuff for her, probably for her fur. So she's going to be a little more complicated than the big one I just showed you, but I think she'll be a great Christmas piece, and I do want her. Um, right now, she's not the priority, but I do want her. And I'm, I've got a little hashtag for her, too, on my Instagram. It's hashtag Royal Holiday 2025. So I have one person that, wants, that has agreed to do it with me. One person said maybe. I don't think that's going to pan out, but always, the, you know, the more the better. Right, we can all just kind of feel like we're not the only one. All right, this one I bought too that day when I was now I remember what I was looking for. I was looking for Krynik and I was having a hard time. It's everyone was sold out of every color I need, and I didn't understand. So I did some research. Apparently, Rainbow Gallery bought, I think it's Rainbow Gallery bought Krynik. So I went to Rainbow Gallery, and anyway, that's a whole other story. But I put this on Instagram. I absolutely love this piece. She will definitely be a priority next year. Um, I love this Ocean Girl. So again, a full coverage, only cross stitch, no specialty anything. I don't know if she has blends or not. 
Um, I understand that Xana doesn't do blends or anything, so I'm not sure about that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I heard and read or something. But I, I don't know if it says blends or not, but there's no specialty. So I love her, and she is going to be my New Year's start. I'll start her on New Year's if I get the fabric in on time, which I should plenty of time she's almost completely kitted up I just got a few left that my store didn't have and um yeah ready to go on that one just waiting for the fabric she is 32,400 and it will be 32,400 because she is um, a full coverage let me see is her yeah she's got larger pattern she's got a larger pattern too which makes it easy for people like me I know a lot of you guys do pattern in the what's it called this is my let me look on this one. I don't know what it's called because I don't know what it is really. I don't do it. But on Zianna's, her says, her patterns say, oh, here we go, pattern keeper tested. So I'm guessing she does, does pattern keeper. So, which I know a lot of you use her. So if you want to stitch it with me, you can put on pattern keeper. Okay, so I've got some more to show you here. Most of them are not something I'm going to be doing. I just loved them and I knew that I, you know, sometimes they stopped selling it. So um, I love her. She was on my Instagram. Um, I bought this at Etsy at Stitches For You Design. The title of her is Little Girl. Her regular price is $9.87. Um, I bought this because even though my oldest granddaughter is not Native American, she still looks a lot like this and she has... This little girl picture just has the essence of my granddaughter when she was a little girl. And I just could not, I don't care if she would have been $50, I would have got her because it just, just touched me so deep. So I'm going to work on this. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, I'll just, she stitches for you design. I'll have her link below if you're interested. I just think she's gorgeous. But I wanted to show you on this one, but no plans right now to start her. I've got, that department is already filled up. Then I have a few here that were, a couple that were in my, that were in my cart literally since last, you know, for months and months since I started. Um, I don't remember exactly what month it was, but anyway, this is peonies. I love peonies. Pink is my favorite color, as everyone has probably heard a million times. Um, it's not real big, but it's absolutely gorgeous. What size is she? I stitch her on 18, she will be 29, no, it's going to be 11 by 11, 11.7. If you stitch her on 14, it's 15 by 15 even. So she's not huge, but it's, it's a good medium size pattern. And I don't have any plans right now to stitch her, but I will at some point. I got it at Simone Ballman Art on Etsy. I'll link that below. Um, I think the regular price was $7.36. I, that's the price I have down. I'm thinking that is the regular price. I'm not sure if it was the, the price I bought, but it's right around that price. So there's that one. At Stitches of the Past, I got these roses. This is a smaller piece at the 18 inches. Let me see here. Oh, no, I put it on the front. 18 inch count, if I do it on that, it's gonna be 7.78 by five. So it's not a real big piece. I consider it a medium piece. Don't know when, but I, I definitely really thought it was beautiful and I just could see me having the need for a rose pattern at some point. Oh, uh, and I got those four. I didn't tell you the price of those. These were $2.97, I believe. No, not this one. Yeah, this one was um, $2.99. And then on the same, well, I'll go back to that one. And then I come across this one. You know, looking then of course after I found that gold one, I'm calling her my Irish princess. Is what I'm going to call her. When I found her um, for my leap year, the first one I showed you that got me looking at Cinderella pattern. I, I clicked that in there and I just started. Don't do that unless you want to spend money. Don't go and pick something that you like. Put it in the search because a million gorgeous things are going to come up, and then you've got to try and pick what you want to get. I got this one, and I got this one because it's Cinderella, it's cute, it's pretty, but it, this one just really captured the enchantment of Cinderella with the sparkly, the, the change of all the white colors, and, and I don't think there's anything but floss on this one, 
and just the magical of it. I think it really captures this. So um, I got this one for, I think it was $5 regularly. I don't remember what I got her for, but $5 or less. So I went ahead and got it. With me having only daughters and my daughters all having daughters, I will have a use for this at some point. I guarantee that. Now, I also had some stuff in my cart for some more things for my cart for a while. And I got this pattern here, this crown. Um, it's a monochromatic, it's quite large. I'm not gonna stitch that. I got it because of all the different style of crowns, all the different, there's, there's little micro ones, tiny ones, medium, large, all different sizes. I, um, let's see here. I got it for $2.57. So it was regularly $7.50 and it's from the Daily Pattern Post on um, Etsy, and I'll link that below. Um, this one was from Daily Daily Pattern Post also, and it's a Christmas sampler, a Santa sampler. And um, I got this one for, I guess it was, let's see, what am I looking at? Yeah, I got this one, but okay, this one must have been, I don't have this one down, must be, I got the one underneath it, well, I got those, it was these two together. I got that for $3. There is the Christmas ornament with the little Santa village inside. I can't find where I bought this. I got the download, but I'm thinking, I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking it came with this. I think I got this and I got this because if I have, I went back through, I went all the way back through all my, um, all my purchases and this one in the crown there, but I can't find this one. So but I do have the download. So I'm thinking it, it came with it. I don't remember, to be honest. Um, you know, I was on a shopping haul and then the next day tried to print everything out. <laughs> it jacked me up, it messed me up, I don't even know. But these are great little Christmas samplers. I love the monochromatic. Definitely will probably do these at some point. Um, again, no, um, the Christmas bell is normally, I looked it up with 750 and I got these for $3, so. Um, I don't know if I bought it separately or not, but it's not showing up. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Stay with me. This is my last one of the patterns. Um, I just love this. Don't think it's everyone's cup of tea, but I do like it a lot. I love the French style. I started doing my hair. I like to do a little bit of French decoration. I love gold and gaudy a lot. I don't do that in my house because what I like in my house, I like everything just kind of simple and clean, non-cluttered, not a lot of stuff. I, I like to keep it simple. But I do love a, a conversation piece somewhere. And I think I'm going to put this in my bedroom. I have no plans right now to stitch it, but I think this would look good. I have, you know, do a lot of white in my bedroom, and I think this will look good to add some color and to just make it pop. And I am a gold gaudy lover, um, but don't really decorate with it because... Does anyone anymore? I don't know. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Oh, back, let me see what I've got here. Sorry. This is from Mommy's Hobbies Design. The, the title is Cinderella's Carriage. I got it for $5.12. It was regularly $11.38. And it's still on sale till October 31st. So if you're interested, you can still get it for $5. Um, the pattern's a little bit smaller than what Zianna uh, does, and I do like the larger pattern. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? Nope, there's nothing really else to show. This is on 16 count. It's 32 by 430, 320 by 432, which comes to 138,240 000, 138, stitches, and it is a full coverage. I'm gonna go 18 count, but so it'll be a little bit less, a little bit smaller, but it'll still be the same amount of stitches. But I can't add another big one right now. But if I when I do, that'll be it. Okay, so that is my patterns. Um, for those of you that want to know where my Instagram is, I'm at Teslin underscore XO. So it's a private account. I tried to make it public, but then I started getting a lot of people there. I'm not interested in it. I'm not here to grow some big channel. I'm here to have that interaction, to have a smaller community, to have stitch alongs, to share my granddaughter's story, to, to see the same people. I don't want a bunch of people that's only there to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, Deanna, you're an exception, girl. <laughs> I want you to follow me. I love, I want you to, I mean, I'm gonna basically give my life to your pattern. She's already said she wants to follow me, so I'm excited, but yeah. I'm gonna be connected to you whether, 
whether I want to or not, right? Because of that pattern. Okay, so let's do some updates. I have been working on um, the um, Guardian Cherub by Mirabilia. This is a free pattern. Um, you just go to mirabilia.com. There's some freebie go on there. This is a bunch of them. I'm working on this from, for a friend who, um, you know, this year lost her son and I just because I love her and I just want to do something. It's taken me longer than I expected. I expected to have it done a few months ago. Um, I'm just learning. I'm learning what kind of stitcher I am and how much I can put into this. And, and this has a lot of change of colors. It has a lot of beads. It has a lot of specialty threads. So even though it's small, it's like six by six, it is um, a, a very, I won't say complicated, but very involved piece to do. So I have to I have to break away more often than I thought I would. Alrighty, so it's Guardian Cherub. She is, well, when you, it says the stitch count is, has 740, but when you take away the extra that's not there, she's actually, 5,636 and right now I, well, let me do this first. So this is what, this is what, where I was last time I did the video, right? So I've gotten the two faces done and some of this back here. This up here is gonna be beads. There's a lot of beading going on. And let me get you my piece. And this is where I'm at now. So I've got 38% done. Um, I think I have more than half done of the actual floss stitching. But like I said, this is beading. The crown is mostly beading. He's got beading. This is all solid. Um, then you got the wings. There are a lot of beads in there and especially threads. So there's still a lot of stitching left, but I think I've got most of the, well, about half of the floss done. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm 38% done. Um, and I'm loving her. I'm loving her. She's beautiful. Um, definitely you know, I'm learning from it. It's not going to be perfect. It's actually, I think I'm doing, if you look kind of close, I think I'm doing a pretty good job for someone first project ever. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid. Go for it, especially on a freebie if you want or a low price one. Just go for it if you want to do it because um, you're going to learn and you're going to fall, fall in love with you. What I've fallen in love with is, um, is that time when I'm doing it, the world kind of shuts out and I get to, it's just a very calming puts me in a little happy place for a while. I am hyper, so I have to do a bunch of short versions. Um, and then, you know, you learn, it's just fun. It's fun learning something new and you have a project afterwards that is yours. It's just, I just really enjoyed cross stitching. So anyway, that is where I'm at with that one. Let's move this out of the way. And then my only other project I've been working on is my first Mirabilia. I chose this one because it's only cross stitching. Um, and I'm glad I did because I didn't want to have two beads learning. So this is the Mother's Bliss. Um, she is, I'm doing it call for with the ivory fabric and the call for floss, except for I am going to change this rust. I did change this rust into pinks instead of rust. I like, I have a bunch of girls and I don't know, I just tend to favor the pink. But I did leave the baby in case my youngest has a son, then it could be for everybody. Um, her arm is rust. I'm gonna have to change that to maybe just a darker shadow of her arm. Take root, because I think that's just kind of extreme right there. But yeah, I think she's great. Alrighty, let me show you. I am stitching her on, well, I'm stitching on 16 count, right? 16 count. And that's where I learned that I like 18 count. Um, fabric better than 16 because it gives a little bit better coverage on the dark but here I was last time I showed you I did this I did the pinks on here that's actually pink my printer prints up dark and adds a lot of yellow it's old I've had it for years and years and years it's an amazing printer but I think it's, it's just not printing up as good as it used to um, so that's where I was and now let me show you where I am now and I am at 10.2% done, but here's the thing about this one. It's only cross stitch and I did right in here and up here around here is gonna be a lot of you know, changes and blends changing and etc. But in general, like almost all of this is gonna be, gonna be one color. Where is the picture? Yeah. So there's a lot of bulk coloring, which I expect now the speed to start picking up a little bit. Um, 
So I'm gonna working on this and then it goes into one really solid color here. This dress here is just the pattern. You don't even stitch this. So I'll, all that ivory is considered done. Um, I might, and I won't do it until the end, I might go ahead and stitch that white just to kind of feel like it completes it, but I don't know yet. That's just a thought. So anyway, yeah, I'm working on this. I'm hoping to have it done before the end of March because if I do, I'm gonna put it in the State Fair. Never puts anything in the State Fair. I've never even seen cross-stitching in the State Fair, but I would like to do that in the future with my Ocean Girl, so this will be a good one to start with. Not expecting anything. Um, she's not a big wow piece other than size, nothing fancy about her or kind of stand out, but you know, you never know. I'm nothing negative, just I'm gonna do it and put it in, see what happens and just have fun doing that. And that is because Stephanie and Allison, they're, they're just going for it and I'm watching all their, watch, I just thought, okay, they're just doing it, putting anything, you know, putting everything out there and just see what happens. And you know what? I need to toughen up and do the same thing and not make excuses of why I shouldn't. So that is my second one of project. Okay, so now you've seen all the projects. Um, I'm gonna tell you my plan and then I'm gonna ask you a question. So I have a lot of projects there. I've got, I, I, I'm i assuming that you guys think it's just crazy, but because for me it feels crazy. But I, I just had a lot going, I was like, oh gosh, how am I gonna do all this? You know, I, I just bought a bunch of big ones. I mean, this is so unrealistic. What am I gonna do? There's so many pieces I wanna do. And then I decided, you know what? You're just gonna set your priorities. Get your priorities in line. Um, I don't need this. And then the question I have for you floss tubers or floss tube wannabes or floss tube cure, anyone that knows anything about the threads, um, I was looking for a crime. I couldn't find anything. I did find a few in the Rainbow Gallery that I knew matched up, but I still need some threads. And um, so while I was searching, um, I found, and Michaels came to DMC, and they have DMC threads, and they have a variety of colors, which when I kind of cross-reference, there's a lot the same. But is DMC a good thread? Is it really comparable? Am I going to expect to have more problems? Is it a more superior thread? I don't know. The colors are shiny. They look pretty. They look like I would expect them to look or they didn't to look at. I, like for example, one was kind of a black and gold thread together. Um, well, they have a black and gold thread one. Um, one of them that I actually found um, and hasn't, you know, I haven't received it yet is a Japan. It's called Japan Gold or something like that. And the colorway it describes it is. I found a DMC. So the question is, um, is it a good option? Should I go ahead and, and use that as a, as a good option or is it not a good option? And if it is a good option, is there anything I need to know about that? So if you've got experience stitching with, um, what do you call it, M metallic threads, let me know if I can, I don't, I don't want to start putting those into my nicer pieces if it's gonna, just gonna frustrate me and it's not gonna look good. So um, are they are they comparable? Or if there is a difference, is there a difference or is not a difference? And if there is, what is it? What is your what is your opinion on that? So anyone, I don't have a lot of floss tube subscribers, but if you know the answer to that, if you have any advice or information for me, let me know before I decide to start using it and it's a disaster or not, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. So yes, please go check out Zianna's um, site. I'm really hoping somebody wants to do a big larger piece. There's lots of options, it's a three princess, and let me know, and I'm gonna buy that first piece for you, um, and we can stitch it together. So I think that is all I have, let me see. Yep, I think it is. So, okay, that is all for this video. Thank you for spending this time with me. I know you have options if you want to join this cross this journey with me um go ahead and leave a what i say a crown so we can do a stitch along together um if you're new here leave a comment and hit that subscribe button i would love it if we could just stitch our stories together um, take care and thank you for watching bye bye